Millie Innes, aged 11 from Cardonald in Glasgow, shot to fame alongside David Tennant in the hit TV drama Single Father. This talented actress is in Primary 7 at Cardonald Primary School, also attends Glasgow Academy of Musical Theatre and Arts. Millie beat 20,000 other young people to the role of Maisie in Tracy Beaker's spin-off Danny's House on CBBC and has also featured in the hit BBC crime drama Case Histories. She is an inspiration to others and a shining example of a young person who through hard work and dedication is making a positive impact in Scotland and across the UK. Millie is a very special young girl in many ways um, and she's a very normal young girl in many ways. Um, she has lots of special qualities um, and it's no surprise to me that she is achieving these accolades and, and it's very exciting for her. She came into Gamta when she was about four years old and um, very early on we knew that she was special because she was very, she, was, she has a passion for musical theatre and a passion for acting and singing and dancing. Um, but she's also very focused and determined and positive and creative and it wasn't long before we realised that she had something special. Well, I, ke I, like, I came to see a couple of Gamptas pantomimes and like, I really want to get up there and do that sort of thing. And then like, I just think looking at like, programmes like, like on CBBC and like Chase Beaker and stuff, like, I always wanted to do that and be Tracy Beaker and whatever, and I think that's what made me kind of aspire to do that. Okay, well, um, I, like, we do a Christmas pants mime every year, and my very first one was Aladdin, and just doing like like the back and dancers and company, but um, my first major role was in Snow White, and I was a seven dwarf called Cutesy. It was meant to be like Dopey, but we changed the names. So yeah, that was really fun. Well, I was David Tennant's daughter in a programme called Single Father, BBC Drama. My name was Evie Tyler in that, and I worked with Jason Isaac in a programme called Case Histories. And um, I just finished filming a programme called Danny's House. It's kind of like Tracy Beaker, and I played Maisie. I think um, her biggest achievements are uh, can be considered both personally and professionally. I think professionally, it's really obvious she's done. She's worked with David Tennant in um, uh, Single Father. She's Jason Isaac in, in Case Histories, um, Danny's House, all her te television and theatre credits are really exciting, and also the roles that she's played in Gamta here. Um, I think also. Um, it, to cope with all of that, to achieve all of that at such a young age, um, both in terms of skill and hard work, but also to, ma to, to manage it emotionally, I think is a huge achievement. I think the fact that she's an incredibly grounded um, young girl, uh, she's very unassuming, um, she's very helpful, she's caring for others, she's, she's looking after the younger ones in the group when she's working within Gamta. That's a huge achievement in itself, you know, and, and, and sometimes you do see, when success comes um, at a young age, you do see some young people change and, and, you know, sometimes in a good way, they grow in confidence, but actually Millie has, has remained exactly the same and she, her consideration for other people is, is, is lovely to watch. So I think, apart from the fantastic professional achievements that she's managed, um, I think to manage the whole, the whole transition to this exciting world um, so well, I think, is really a credit to her. I just like the whole like adrenaline and the experience of it. Like, of course, pantomimes and doing TV are like a whole lot different. Like, when you're doing pantomimes, you have to be on the ball every second. It's like you don't get a break. But um, on TV, I just love it because it's like the whole experience and meeting new people and just acting and doing what you love to do and be able to experience new characters and like like kind of explore in different ways of like speaking and moving and stuff like that.
I think Millie is extremely deserving of, of recognition because um, she's a very focused young girl. She's very hard working. Her work ethic is second to none. Um, she's got a, determin a quiet determination to succeed and she decides in her mind what she wants to achieve and she finds out how to achieve that and she's got one path to, to go down and she follows that path and she's, she's undeterred if things get in her way um, she, she just continues and she's not aggressive in, in any way she, with that because you know to, to survive in, in any kind of industry but particularly the entertainment industry you have to have a thick skin but I think the lovely thing about Millie is that she has remained true to herself and I think she's really genuine and um, I think that is, that's deserving of, that, that, that epitomises to me what a young person's all about. I just think that there's always hope really and you can make it work if it doesn't work the first time if you don't get an addition or if you're not right for a certain programme. It's not anything personal really and just keep on trying and keep on trying and never give up really because like you never know something really good can come out of it and if you give up you won't know. I have worked with young people for the best part of 20 years and um, it's been a privilege, it really is a privilege to work with young people and I think the, the representation that they have in the media is sadly very, very mistaken. Um, any young people that I've work, ever worked with that have come through Gamta's doors have been um, always aspiring to be better individuals, to improve their skills and to be part of a group and enjoy that group, whatever the activity might be. So my experience, I have to say, has been nothing but positive and I think you know, as adults who can be sometimes sceptical of the world, I think we can learn a lot from young people.